Welcome to this Breeze training video. Once you've accessed your Breeze server website, you will need to log in. After successfully logging in, you will be directed to the Editor tool. The navigation panel on the left is used to move through the various tools in the Breeze server. Before creating a playlist, we must bring in media files to add to the playlist, such as images and videos. Files are uploaded to the Breeze server using the Upload button on the Media Panel toolbar. Clicking on the Upload button opens a File Explorer window. Navigate to the media files you wish to upload. Select a file and click Open. A spinning icon appears in the Media Panel while the file is uploading and converting. The status area reports the percent completed during the upload process. Multiple files can be uploaded at one time. Groups can be used to organize media files. To name a group, double-click on the name New Group and type the desired name. Additional media files can be uploaded to the new group or existing media files can be dragged into the new group. Media files can be previewed by hovering on a media file icon, generating a tooltip preview, or by double-clicking on a media file icon, generating a media file preview window. Click OK to close the media file preview window. Now that there is media file content in the server, we can begin creating a playlist. Click on New Playlist in the Playlist Tools area to create an empty playlist. Type a name for the playlist and choose a template. The default resolution settings accommodate most modern widescreen displays. The open playlist is identified by name in the canvas header. An asterisk follows the playlist name to indicate unsaved changes have been made to the playlist. Media files are added to a zone by clicking on the media file icon and dragging it into a zone. A media icon appears in the timeline indicating the media file is now part of the playlist. Dragging another media file into the zone adds the media file at the end of the zone's media sequence. To remove media from a playlist, select the media icon and click delete on the computer's keyboard. Zones are simply containers for media. To add another zone to the playlist, we need to select the Add New Zone button in the Zone Properties toolbar. The Zone Properties panel and the Media Properties panel share a space. If the Media Properties panel is expanded, click on the arrow in the Zone Properties header. Now we can select the Add New Zone button in the Zone Properties toolbar. This creates an empty zone in the middle of the canvas. A zone can be resized by hovering at the edge of a zone and then clicking the mouse button and holding and dragging to collapse or expand the zone size. A zone can be repositioned by hovering inside of the zone clicking the mouse button and holding and dragging the zone about the canvas. Media files can also be added to a playlist by clicking on the media file icon and dragging it into the timeline. Zones are layered as they are added to the playlist. Zone 1 is on the bottom, Zone 2 is over Zone 1, Zone 3 is over Zone 2, and so on. Widgets are used to add dynamic media and all media content besides files to a playlist, like text for example. To add a widget to a playlist, click on the widget item, hold the mouse button, and drag the widget into the zone, using the same process as when adding media files. However, widgets open a widget window to obtain the information needed for the widget to function. Nearly all settings pertaining to the widget are offered in this window. To edit a widget that is already part of a playlist, simply double-click on the widget icon in the timeline or the widget image in the canvas. This reopens the widget window containing the widget settings. To preview a playlist, click on the Preview button. The progress loading the playlist is displayed in the canvas with a circular icon. The preview indicator, or the red line moving through each row of media icons in the timeline, 
indicates the exact second each zone is displaying in the preview. This preview feature is a replica of the player and is not as high in quality as an actual player will be. For this reason, videos may appear pixelated. The blank widget can hold a zone empty for a period of time to aid in synchronization of media content. The blank widget is really just a transparent image included with the widgets for the user's convenience. Please watch Getting Started with Breeze Part 2 to learn how to send a playlist to the player or the digital sign.